Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, Shinrin Yoku, and Yurt Life, bringing you a grand solar minimum. Update Friday, October 27th, 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. The seismic swarm went quiet on Iceland for about 12 hours, but look, appears to be ramping up as we're keeping a close eye on Mount St. Helens. 170 earthquakes in the last 30 days. That is a major uptick. Keep calm. It's boom time. Loveland ski area. Heavy weekend snow could push up opening day and more snow is coming. We'll have the forecast in just a moment. Computer models project a stormy winter in D.C. They had a paltry snow year last year as well as the Northeast. But more snow could be coming thanks to El Nino. Here is the latest El Nino map. And this is the temperature anomaly valid December and February. It's going to be cooler here in the west and a little warmer up in the northern tier and maybe more snow. Here we're looking at the current snowpack. All the regions in the northwest are above 100% and the deficit is down here to the south in the Four Corners region. But there's going to be snow and more snow. Snow, heavy rain, fire weather, and warm temperatures this weekend, in fact. An assortment of weather hazards are expected this weekend across the U.S. Snow with light icing is possible from the central Rockies into the central and southern plains. Heavy rain may produce flooding from the southern plains to the Ohio Valley. Strong offshore winds will increase fire weather threats in Southern California. And record warmth remains in the forecast across parts of the east. So take a look at these freeze warnings in the center of the country as well as the Pacific Northwest as more snow is coming. Take a look. This is through the weekend, through Monday morning. So heavy snow coming to Colorado, most of the state, as well as snow for Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and northern Texas through Monday morning. We can just move this through Wednesday and Thursday. Another system later this week into the weekend coming into the west, bringing more heavy snow to the high country. Now, at what threshold is Greenland ice caps melting ir irreversible? Well, no time soon. This fear-mongering article failed to even look at the data. Greenland is building ice at record levels, 12 gigatons just a few days ago. Record ice is building on Greenland. In fact, it just touched above the multi-decadal average through 1981. What are they talking about? Over here at the seismic crisis ongoing at Mount St. Helens, 170 earthquakes in the last 30 days. This morning it was at 160, so this is rapidly increasing, this uptick. Obviously something is happening here at St. Helens, and we'll keep a close eye on it as the seismicity increases. Worldwide seismicity looks, well, pretty normal worldwide, nothing significant to report Nothing significant to report as far as volcanoes either, except the uptick here at the Rakianus Peninsula, the seismic swarm continuing. And here, let's just update that with lots of quakes above three magnitude. And here we can see the quakes clustering together again in the last three hours as this region continues to rumble. Space weather news update. That M flare, the filament released the other day, is now here on Iswa and Shows no threat to Earth, which is good news. The next threat will be the coronal hole. The trans-equatorial coronal hole here, 66, will be facing Earth tomorrow. And we should feel effects of it by the weekend, by the end of the weekend, early next week. So probably a trick-or-treat Aurora event from that coronal hole as we keep a close eye on it for you. Now, NOAA updated its space weather uh, solar cycle pro progression here for cycle 25, showing the cycle should peak sometime by summer of next year and peaking only at 150 sunspots. Very low cycle after they were predicting it to be quite high. Elon Musk says he's going to take over all banking by next year. Holy macaroni. Yeah, the singularity is fast approaching. Hey, have you heard of the Adam and Eve story? We're going to link it below, 57 pages, uh, just for you, by Chan Thomas. 
And a study finds cannabis users had better COVID-19 outcomes. I never got it. Did you? And let's talk about geoengineering. Here is a document from the government that I found, the White House indeed, congressionally mandated research plan, an initial research governance framework related to solar radiation modification. What could go wrong? Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow on the radio show. What time is the full Hunter's Moon Lunar Eclipse on October 28th? Well, if you live in the U.S., you're not going to see it. But if you live anywhere in Africa or most of Asia, you will see the whole eclipse visible. So it's North and South America, we're out of the party. And most of Australia, Western Australia, out of the party too. I mean, Eastern Australia. Western Australia, in fact, will see the eclipse. A partial lunar eclipse will be visible from the Eastern Hemisphere this weekend. So go out if you live there and look up. Earth is thundering towards a planet unfit for humans, according to a report. Research led by Oregon State University scientists say big changes are needed now or we're all going to die. And that is a boom to knowledge. Lee and I will pick that one apart on our radio program, Noon Mountain Time on Cosmic Catastrophe, our radio show at revolution.radio, Studio B, Noon Mountain Time tomorrow. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are a shadow band and we need your help to grow. All the links are below to all of the topics I touched on. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Yeah.